brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Tina joins us in Jacksonville, Florida. Tina, what's going on? Hey, thank you for having me on the call. Uh, so we were just starting the program, my husband and I, and I threw a very bad series of mistakes with car trade, car trade, car trade, and now in serious negative equity. And uh, my husband and I talked about it, and we are willing to do whatever it has to take to, you know, we're going to sell the car. Um, we found a dealership that's willing to buy it, but we got to cover the negative equity. So I tried to take out a signature loan through my credit union, and we were declined. So now it's like, what do I do? What's my next step? Do I try to divvy it up amongst credit cards? Do I just bite the bullet and pay off this car? Do I try and take a home equity loan? Where do I where do I go? Well, any option that involves moving the debt to other debt, I, I hate that I have to tell you this, is not going to solve your problem. Think about it like this. You have a bullet wound in one in your foot. Shooting any other part of your body will not fix that bullet wound in your foot. Is so that co- you got understood. it? So here's the here's the options you have that don't involve debt. Number one is you guys save up the difference that you owe and then sell it so you can cover the full amount that's owed. Or uh, you said you got declined at that credit union. Have you tried others? Did they tell you the reason? Is it due to your credit score? Credit score. Okay. So your credit score is shot because of, was there delinquent payments? Uh, no, uh, overutilization. Okay. We, with our house and all of our credit, we're about half a million in debt. Oh, my goodness. How much consumer yeah, debt do you guys have? Serious. I'm sorry? How much consumer debt do you have outside of the mortgage? Uh, we have 127 in credit card. 127 um, in credit cards? Yeah, 127,000 in credit cards. What did you um, put on these cards? Um, stuff for the house, helping out our kids, um, vacations that we shouldn't have gone on. What's the interest rate on these? Of, uh, the majority of them, you know, they vary between 12 and 18 <sighs> percent. What what about this situation? We, I'm I'm asking you this not to beat you up, but I I, I really want to know no. where your where your psychology is. You're half um, a million dollars in debt. The yeah. fact that you're considering yeah. trying to clean up some of your debt issues with more debt, like at mm-hmm. what point does it stop for you? It has to stop. Right. Because um. We want to retire in five years, and we do it's not possible right? if we don't change. And so I'm willing to, you know, do whatever it takes. What's and your I household have, income? You know, I've been listening to a couple of the shows, um, and, you know, um, Dave had said, take out a personal loan to pay off the equity, sell that car, get a beater car, you know, lower your debt, total debt. So that's what I thought we could do, but it doesn't seem like. And I don't trust my own decisions, clearly, sure. because if I did, I wouldn't be here. So what is your household income? Uh, monthly, we bring we bring in monthly, we bring in about 13000 Okay, good. And what is your total minimum payments on all of the debt that you have, the consumer debt? Total minimum payments is monthly... Um, I'm going to go grab it, um, about 4700 Okay. Are you able to put an extra 1000 2000 3000 4000 on top of that to pay it off? Oh, that's what we were going to do, you okay. know, starting with the, the smallest first. Good. Um, but considering I owe almost 80000 on this car, we thought we could get out of, you know, get rid of it, and that would take a huge chunk out. How much upside down are you? About 22000 And are you sure of that? Because you said the dealership said they'd buy it for this amount. Well, the dealership's going to lowball you comparatively to a private party sale. So I haven't tried private party. Um, the car, the balance we owe is about 80000 And when I go through Kelly Blue Book, um, it's between fifty five and sixty is the value. And the car dealership is offering us fifty eight. Because it's a, a 2023 with really low miles on it. 
Okay. Well, we want to get as much for this car as we can to shrink that gap. Do you guys have any money in the bank? Just a thousand dollars. Okay. Do you have anything, anything in your you home sell? you could sell? Yeah. Um, we thought about that. You know, like I said, we're just getting started, and we can start, you know, like selling off. And what's I just the house started worth? Making my list of things that I could get rid of. I'm talking tools, guitars, motorcycles. You guys sound like you bought some stuff I with those wish. credit cards. Jet skis, everything. No, no, nothing tangible that's worth anything more than, like, household goods. <sighs> well, I'm at the point now I'm willing to sell my wedding set if, if that would well, get us out of debt. What is the house worth? The house um, is worth, if we go by Zillow, because I don't have the comps, but if we go by Zillow, it's worth about 424 And what do you owe on the mortgage? 273 Okay. And what was your total consumer debt load? I had cut you off. What's the total of all the consumer debt combined? Of everything is not including the house. Not including. 233 Okay. This so might be... the car and student loans and credit cards. This might be one of those situations where you make the ultimate sacrifice of selling the house. You'll clear about 150 maybe 130 after fees, and that gets you down to a hundred thousand in debt. But also, which can get you 20, out of this. twenty thousand of that. You sell that car, and that knocks off another eighty off the total. And what happens then is you're going to have to rent for a while. It may be a long time. How but old are at you? At least hun? you can get out of this. I'm fifty nine. Okay. It um. When my mom went back to school. She got her tenure professor job at the age of 57. She just retired in her mid-70s. That may, that, not, it's not May. That's 100% what you're looking at, okay? You're going to have to go find a job, and you're all just going to have to work and scratch and claw, consider selling the house. Even if it's just let's sprint and get this 20000 bucks to get rid of this car. Let's just do that. Let's go ahead and list it private sale just to see what happens, too. I, there's something... The fact that a dealership would offer you more than Kelly Blue Book doesn't doesn't register with me, but I don't know enough about the car or anything like that. It doesn't sound right, but maybe, maybe. Um, and then you and your husband have to decide, are we going to get one, two, or three, or four jobs? Do we want this? No. I don't see a picture where we all retire in five years. I just don't. And so I think the quicker no, you, can, you can grieve that and say we wanted this to be the case, but it's not going to be. Let's shoot for 75 instead of 65. Um, then you're gonna. It's gonna give you a little gas in the in the tank, and y'all just gotta knock this thing out, fa like item by item by item. It will not be how you drew it up, and you have to, you have to commit to taking debt off the table. It can never be an option for you, ever, ever, ever. Agreed. I'm so sorry. Agreed. I'm sorry so, you gotta so learn sorry. this lesson this way, Tina. We're going to send you uh, Financial Peace University. It sounds like you're new to our gang. We're going to send it to you. We're going to send you for a year the premium version of every dollar. It's going to help you and your husband get aligned to do something y'all have never done before, which is make a budget and make money decisions together. Create your free every dollar budget today, the simplest way to budget for your life.